This hour by Frederick Remington Fully Cooked Ready to Eat Bacon. Exclusive no refrigeration 10 year extended shelf life bacon. The thickest media center cut bacon in the industry at fullycookedbacon.com. The stocks discussed on Wall Street Raw are not in any way a recommendation or solicitation to buy, sell, or hold. If considering on acting on information, we first recommend you seek out a competent, licensed professional for advice. What kingdom has sent you? The kingdom of the Most High. Nothing you have ever experienced can prepare you for the unbridled carnage you're about to witness. The Super Bowl, the World Series, they don't know what pressure is. In this building, it's either kill or be killed. You make no friends in the pits and you take no prisoners. One minute, you're up half a million in soybeans and the next, boom. Your kids don't go to college and they've repossessed your Bentley. Are you with me? Genesis Communication Network is proud to bring you Wall Street Raw with nationally recognized market timer and previous Wall Street Week elf, Mark Leibovich, welcoming you on board his financial time machine. And here is the elf himself, Mark Leibovich. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to Wall Street Raw on this uh, glorious Saturday, January 6, 2018. And, um, you know, this being the uh, first uh, broadcast uh, for 2018, and we're glad that you had uh, time to tune in for us on the Saturday morning. Obviously, you have other choices, and uh, we will appreciate uh, you listening. As always, we try to uh, line up a very uh, long list of interesting guests for you, market experts. Uh, on the program today, we're going to have our our good friend Sinclair No joining us later in the session, Harry Boxer, Henry Weingarten. We may have one or two surprise uh, guests. Uh, but for now, let's uh, jump over to our good friend Don Bielow, who's uh, waiting in the wings. Good morning, Don. How are you? I'm great there, Mark. Well, Don is the... Uh creator, author of uh, two great uh, blogs, uh, timingthemarket.ca and equityclock.com. So I want to say that right up front. you got to check those out. Uh, I use equityclock.com all the time. Just great uh, cyclical information on the market sectors and individual stocks. Don, uh, markets uh, into new highs, just keeps on running, and that Santa Claus rally uh, is still apparently underway. Yeah, Santa Claus went great for investors once again this year. Uh, the Santa Claus rally uh, for North American equity markets from mid-December to the first week in January came through once again. Uh, the S&P 500 uh, index gained about a little over 2%. The TSX composite gained about 2.3%. Now, strongest equity sectors during this year's rally were gold, uh, looking at the GTX up 8%, energy, the XLE up 8.4%, and the best one of all, the Oil Service Index, OIH, up 17%, just a huge gain. Now, all three sectors currently are in their period of seasonal strength until at least the end of February. Stick with them for now. Buy on weakness. You know, that cyclical low or maybe tax loss selling low, it came in almost perfectly in mid-December for gold. It was really amazing. It's happened not every year, but it happens a lot. And uh, it really uh, was a picture-perfect example of buying that uh, low for a trade. Yeah, don't forget the other precious metals, uh, things like platinum just broke out a couple of days ago. Uh, Palladium continues to power into new highs. Uh, The whole precious metal sector looks very, very strong. Wow, and uh, we can't argue with the uh, new uh, recovery highs in crude oil, uh, almost $62. Yes, the period of seasonal strength for crude oil is from the middle of December right through until at least April of each year. We're in the gear once again. Yeah, we talked about uh, several weeks ago, Don, uh, that uh, crude oil could possibly surge into the mid-60s in 2018, and it's uh, taking a leap forward. Uh, any, um, any thoughts about that? Do you think crude oil's got a lot more to go, or uh, we're sort of hitting a, a trading top here? Oh, crude oil is still uh, technically looks very, very strong, but the better way of playing it, if you want to play the energy sector, is to play the oil service sector, which has great leverage. And we just saw the um, oil service uh, ETF, OIH, complete a beautiful reverse head and shoulders pattern last week. It looks like it's going to go significantly higher. So another leading sector uh, for strength, of course, was technology. Let's talk about that. 
Yeah, it was the leading uh, sector last week. Uh, the uh, technology spiders, XLK, had gained 2.6% last week, and uh, thanks to mainly to the strength in the FANG stocks. In fact, on Friday, the Amazon uh, broke to an all-time high. Now, a word of caution on the technology sector, it has a history of reaching a seasonal peak during the Las Vegas Consumer Electronics Show. Now, traders frequently sell on news after the announcement of new electronic products introduced at the show. Now, this year, the show runs between January the 8th and January the 12th. That's next week. Yeah, and I, I plan on being there. <laughs> so maybe I can report some of the uh, hot new products too, at least for a day. I'm going to pop up there. It's a little closer for me than, uh, oh, Don, if you don't already know, folks, is uh, based up in uh, Toronto, so it's a little bit of a further trip. I'm, I'm based in Phoenix, but uh, heading there uh, next week. And, of course, it's more than you could ever see. That's really the problem. Yes, it's been really a fantastic show, all kinds of uh, new things coming out, uh, a typical opportunity to sell on news. Quick uh, question on the uh, Canadian dollar. Uh, how do you read that? The U.S. dollar had a little bit of weakness here in the Canadian dollar rally. Is this something uh, that will continue in your opinion? We uh, had a really interesting economic report coming out this, this morning, uh, both the employment report and uh, the uh, uh, um, merchandise report were much stronger than expected. That caused the Canadian dollar to surge quite nicely. In fact, just last week, the Canadian dollar did break above the trading range and actually changed its trend. It had been moving lower. Now it's at least into a, a, a neutral trend. So, uh U.S. dollar, any thoughts about that? Is, is, uh, most of the bulls out there say this uh, pullback in the U.S. dollar is just temporary and we should be getting ready for another big advance. Any uh, thought about that or are you just going to wait for the Canadian dollar to give you a signal? Yes, uh, the uh, U.S. dollar has been amazingly weak considering the ex- expectation for higher uh, interest rates uh, by the Fed later this year. Uh, that's kind of an interesting uh, phenomenon. It has very positive uh, prospects for the commodity sector. Anything that's commodity related will benefit if the U.S. dollar continues to move lower. We've seen that during the last couple of weeks, and that trend is expected to continue. Don, love the input. Thank you so much for joining us. Don Bielow from timingthemarket.ca and equityclock.com. And have a great weekend, Don. And if you can make it to the uh, CES next week, I'll meet you there. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Good idea there, Mark. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah, it's uh, – CES is coming up next week, folks, and every year uh, I try to uh, run up there and see what I can uh, take in. It just, uh, oh, beyond description, if you haven't been to the show, you could walk as fast as you can for four days, and if you start talking and interviewing people, you just uh, really uh, can't get through that show. But uh, some fantastic stuff there. I'm going to be heading over to the Israeli delegation, actually, on uh Wednesday, I was invited by the Israeli delegation because they know I'm interested in a lot of high-tech stocks coming out of Israel, which is, you know, another form of Silicon Valley, if you're not familiar with what's going on in Tel Aviv, and uh, checking that out. So that's going to be a busy day for me. But obviously, we're going to try to report that. And one of our pet projects that we're working on in the wings here is creating a technology letter that follows many of those stocks uh, from Israel. So uh, stay tuned at vrtrader.com for that uh, possibility. So one of the big um, stories uh, this past week, and actually the biggest story in terms of my Cannabis Vice newsletter, was the uh, attorney Jeff Sessions' comment that came out on Friday regarding rolling back the Obama area policy that gave states leeway to allow marijuana for recreational purposes. And uh, we'll try to get into that more um, during the show here as uh, time allows. But um, basically, uh, two sources with knowledge of the decision confirmed to the um, sources that we're in touch with that Sessions will resend the so-called Cole Memo which ordered uh, U.S. attorneys in states where marijuana has been legalized to deprioritize prosecution of marijuana-related cases. This is important, and and we'll have more discussion on this during the course of the show in terms of your investment strategy going forward in this sector. Don't touch the dial. We'll be back after the break with our good friend, Henry Weingarten. You're listening to Wall Street Raw with Mark Leibovitz. Go to WallStreetRawRadio.com for information on Mark's newsletters and products. Stay tuned. Mark will be right back.
Every industry faces distinguishing challenges and circumstances that shape the business and financial landscape. Camuso CPA LLC delivers unrivaled depth of knowledge and an engaging experience relevant to each client's industry-specific needs. Camuso offers preemptive guidance and knowledge required to achieve your greatest business and personal financial potential. Our approach is based on forging long-term business relationships accompanied by trust and value, creating an ever-important partnership. Build your dedicated financial team with us today. Visit CamusoCPA.com. That's CamusoCPA.com. Non-attorney paid spokesperson. Could your house go into foreclosure? Are you behind on your mortgage payments? Does it seem like the bank has no interest in helping you save your home? And you feel like you have nowhere to turn for help? Then we have good news for you. Foreclosure Protection Services can help save your home as they specialize in foreclosure assistance. That's all they do. If you're behind on your mortgage payments, being threatened with foreclosure, have been denied a loan modification, or been the victim of a predatory loan, it's critical that you call Foreclosure Protection Services now at 800-667-9035. Their network of attorneys and their agents are available to speak to you now. If you're behind on your mortgage payments, Foreclosure Protection Services can help stop the foreclosure process. Call today before it's too late. New laws are in effect that may save your home. Call Foreclosure Protection Services now at 800-667-9035. 800-667-9035. That's 800-667-9035. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Fully cooked, ready-to-eat bacon. I'm talking thick, meaty, center-cut, presidential bacon. Savory and delicious. I buy some, I use some, I store some. Awesome. No refrigeration needed with a 10-year shelf life. NASA pack technology. Bacon. Fully cooked, fully hydrated, ready-to-eat right from the pack bacon. Or warm and served. Life-saving, ready-to-eat bacon. 10-year shelf life bacon. Ships free at FullyCookedBacon.com. FullyCookedBacon.com. Message and data rates may apply. Oh my gosh, that's Frank Thomas. No. Yes, that's him. Go ahead. Excuse me, are you Frank Thomas? Yes, I am. I bet you get recognized a lot. I was a pretty good ball player. You were? Some people thought so. Sorry, we recognize you from those Nugenics commercials. Oh yeah? That's great. So does Nugenics really work? Oh yeah, I really can feel the difference. My workouts are better, and I feel a lot more energetic. I wish my husband would use Nugenics. It's so easy to get started. All you have to do is send one simple text. Text the word PRIME44 to 424. Four two four for a complimentary bottle of award-winning Nugenics, the number one selling free testosterone booster at GNC. Its unique man-boosting formula is powered by testophen, a patented key ingredient clinically researched to help a man feel stronger, leaner, more energetic, and more passionate. And you're going to like the difference, too. Text PRIME44 to 42424 for a complimentary bottle of Nugenics. Samples are not available in stores. Text PRIME44 to 42424. Water is the single most important thing your body needs, so you want to be sure it's the best for you and your family. Since 2005, thousands have depended on Berkey Purified Water. The Berkey Guy provides the lowest price filtration systems in every size. For incredibly delicious water now and in an emergency, get to GoBerkey.com or call 877-886-3653. 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com. It's a change. Think big. Think positive. Never show any sign of weakness. Always go for the throat. Buy low, sell high. Fear, that's the other guy's problem. Welcome back to the Wall Street Raw Radio Show with Mark Leibovitz, your time machine for the financial markets. Want to know more? Go to WallStreetRawRadio.com. Now, here's the elf himself, Mark Leibovitz. Welcome back to Wall Street Raw on this Saturday, uh, January 6th, uh, first uh, broadcast of uh, 2018. And thank you again uh, for joining us. And thanks again to Don Violo for giving us some great information on Segment 1. At the end of Segment 1, I uh, touched a little bit on the um, attorney 
General Jeff Sessions' remarks from Friday, which is, has impacted many of the uh, cannabis uh, marijuana stocks. So we want to talk about that during the program, and perhaps we can cover that with our next and very special guest, Henry Weingarten, who is on the line with us now. Good morning, Henry. Thank you for joining us. My pleasure. Well, this, this is certainly an exciting year. January is uh, starting up as we expect them. The question is how high are the markets going to go? Are they just going to stay around here and be under 26,000? Or is Donald Trump going to be right and we're going to get to 30,000 this year? He's obviously under some very positive influences and feeling uh, the sky's the limit. So obviously his call recently for $30,000 30, is uh, interesting. As for the marijuana, I think it was just looking it's an interesting timing for the beginning of the year. One wonders almost if you're a conspiracy person, uh, whether somebody was shorting the stocks. I'd love to see who was shorting uh, marijuana stocks at the end of the year. It might be a very interesting investigation. Okay, so, so uh, Attorney General Jeff Sessions has got uh, some connections out there on Wall Street that knew oh, this was coming, huh? Okay. I didn't say that, but uh, I just find the timing very interesting. But obviously it's a, it's a dumb thing in my opinion. And, and, and that's if you think about what happened with prohibition, uh, it didn't work. And this is not going to work to make 10% of the people uh, or more uh, criminals. And while I'm not really in favor of marijuana personally, although of America, medical marijuana I do like. This is a stupid move in, on many, many areas, especially when we have much more serious things. I don't think it's necessarily going to get that far, but it was an interesting trade, which we were expecting, um, and I don't really have any insight beyond that. What is interesting in the year, however, is uh, the commodity space, the energy space, which very often do very well in the, in the ends of a bull cycle, which we were in, but although I probably won't end until 2019 or 2021, So, um, or, or Dow 30,000, whichever comes first. So um, the commodity space, we think, is going to maintain itself. The energy space is going to maintain itself. And there's lots of opportunities. The problem is markets are very expensive, and they're going to stay expensive for a while. So what's going to knock them down is the issue. North Korea, maybe. Uh, the election in uh November, maybe. Probably the most likely one is the Fed, because the Fed tends to uh, mess up a lot of uh, bull cycles. But we have to have at least two more interest rate increases before that has any effect. So what I think is the most likely thing may be the showing up of inflation, which we should see by the second quarter. Now, inflation is here, and everybody knows it, but the Fed will probably see it. Um, sometime in the March to June area. And that might be a trigger short term because we're expecting the markets to sort of peak around March or by March or April. But, you know, it could be like this year, can you peak and then go up again? So that's really what we're focused on. And how to protect yourself is either long short, going into private equity. You know, you, you and it's a little bit like being in Bitcoin or something else. You can go in for the ride, but only for so long before it really doesn't work. Yeah, well, it's amazing. The Dow over 25,000, and uh, some of the research I'm seeing says uh, we're eyeing that 28,000 level, and you're telling me that Trump's predicting 30. It may happen. It just, it, and you look at the market every day, the Dow just keeps going up and up. It seems like there's an allocation for the Dow on the part of whether it's foreign money managers or domestic managers, and they're just jumping into it. It's amazing. Well, right. Well, the question is why sell? Our valuation has never been enough of a reason, but you do have to protect yourself. So you, that's why we like to be long and short. And just be purely long, even though I don't think anything's going to happen, it's, it's just not a comfortable space. So, but the question is why sell at this point? You want to have stops in place, of course. Uh, but what's a real trigger for a real correction? Or even, uh, you know, 10%. And what's, what's going to knock it down? I'm a big follower of the um, Yale Hirsch, uh, you know, early five days warning or the month of uh, January compared to December as a January barometer. Any thoughts about that? Because the market's starting strong and a good leading indicator for the year. Well, we have January up. As, as astrologically, but in a slow channel. I don't know what the target's going to be, 25.2, whether it's 25.8, or maybe even 26,000. We're not sure yet how high the January number's going to be, but I don't know if it's going to go much beyond that. I mean, obviously, pro companies are going to show more profit because of the tax laws and stuff, and we're bullish on the economy, and I think we're going to show closer to 4% um, than 3%. So that's all very bullish. Um, we don't know because, you know, the problem is it's like Bitcoin. At certain points, you can't use your numbers anymore. People are just buying, and they're not looking at the numbers. 
Okay, that's so, one of your favorite subjects, Bitcoin. Where are we on Bitcoin, uh, Henry? It, it's obviously going nowhere. I mean, the fact is the 20,000 is it's probably 80% chance it's the top. We've been recommending either ADA, which has done better. I saw that it went up uh, 100%, uh, whereas Bitcoin went up 10%. So we would you know, we recommend sort of selling Bitcoin and buying ADA or Stellar, if you like, Lumens, any, any of the other ones. Even Ethereum is better. Um, the problem with Bitcoin is two things. Number one, the people who were initially in it were in it for two reasons. One, because of secrecy, and they're much better cryptocurrencies for it. And secondly, for transactions. And basically, it's very slow and expensive. The competitors are far better. So if you're in the know, you're out of it. You know, it's a little bit like Litecoin. You know, when the guy sold all the stuff at 330, you know, that was the top. Here it is at 250. You know, when the, when the origin is set, these are not worth a trillion dollars. You know, people aren't looking at the numbers. So, but I don't think we're going to see a real problem there until um, in the summer. And then I think we can see a nice correction. Henry, we have, well, about 60, we have about 60 seconds. Let's talk about gold. Gold took off nicely gold from that nice. mid-December low. Gold 1400 and the gold should be holding 1300 here. And no matter what, somewhere in the next year, two years, it's going to be by 1400 We're not wildly bullish, but there's value in gold stocks, and we like the gold stocks. Okay. If they're good companies. <laughs> Okay, so you know, gold just around thirteen hundred, thirteen seventy-five is that big uh, breakout level. Right, and go ahead. I don't know how much above that we'll get, but copper actually is a better play. I mean, you had to be only in one turn. I mean, I like gold, and I recommend having some, but copper will do better this year. Look at palladium, new highs in the last day or two. It just keeps going right. over eleven hundred. That that's been the best performing metal, has hasn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. But again, uh, remember, commodities do well in late stage cycles. Uh, bull cycles, and that's what we have. And they should do well for most of the year. Okay, great. Uh, Henry Weingarten from uh, the Astrologers Fund. If you want more information, go to afund.com. Henry, real quickly, you're off to Hong Kong. You've got a trip coming yeah, up, we're, huh? we're, you know, Hong Kong, by the way, has a good horoscope this year, so it's, it's just going to benefit from a lot of Chinese money. Retail's doing well, so we like Hong Kong. We're looking at some opportunities there. Great city. It's like New York. I, I love it. Been there a couple times. Looking forward to the next trip. Thank you for joining us, Henry. Have a great Thank weekend. You. Don't touch your dial. We're going to be after the break with our good friend, Harry Boxer. Go to WallStreetRawRadio.com for more information on Mark's newsletters and products. Stay tuned. Mark will be right back. High-performance investors and traders use superior financial tools to achieve superior returns. You have that tool with Mark Leibovitz, nationally renowned top market timer, legendary television Wall Street Week elf, and nightly business report market monitor who shares with you his unique market tools and commentary at WallStreetRaw.com. Here, Mark provides you with his latest ideas on how to help build and protect your wealth and help you avoid the next big market tsunami. Mark has a special free gift for listeners of his Wall Street Raw radio show. Go to WallStreetRaw.com and sign up for his free monthly Cannabis Vice News Raw report. While there, go ahead and sign up for his free monthly Gold News Raw report. Both are totally free. No credit card information is required, and no one will call. Sign up today for your free Cannabis Vice News Raw report and Gold News Raw report at WallStreetRaw.com. Does the current world crisis in North Korea or our domestic crisis right here in America concern you? Well, I know it concerns me. My friends over at Legacy Food Storage have solutions in the event there's the inevitable. What's the inevitable? Civil unrest, a run on your local grocery store. And here's my question to you. If this happens, how do you feed your children? How do you feed your grandchildren? Legacy Food Storage has the solutions. In fact, they can help you implement a simple plan to take care of your needs in the event 
event of the inevitable. By calling them right now, I have authorized them to give you a special 20% discount at checkout by simply using GCN. Call 888-543-7345 or visit them at LegacyFoodStorage.com. That's 888-543-7345 or visiting them at LegacyFoodStorage.com. Make sure you use GCN at checkout for an incredible 20% discount. Don't be a victim. Take control of your life now. Have you ever wondered who the second person to discover gravity was? Hmm. When you're in the mood for a treat, would you go to the second best bakery in town? Or how about the name John Breckenridge? Recognize it? If you don't, that's because he came in second to Abraham Lincoln. The firsts are first for a reason. Just how ID Stronghold was the first to create the technology to protect your credit cards from thieves with RFID chip scanners. ID Stronghold products block signals from those scanners, so thieves can't capture your critical data. Get a stronghold on your personal information and protect your family too. Don't settle for the second best wallet. Pick up ID Stronghold wallets for everyone on your list this holiday season. They're the perfect stocking stuffer with leather wallets starting as low as $20 on Walmart com, eBay, Amazon, and QVC. Save 10% by using coupon code PRESENT for a limited time. That's coupon code PRESENT only on IDStronghold.com. IDStronghold.com. Are you happy washing your hands with harsh chemicals? Are you happy doing laundry with detergents? Are you happy paying high prices? Find your happiness with Pure Soap. These all-natural, earth-friendly Pure Soaps are the very best you've ever used. Buy in bulk. Get a 12, 36, or 48-month supply. Or get items individually and still save big. You're getting soap products twice as good as what you're using now. Earth-friendly and natural soaps. Your family deserves the best. Happiness is 5starsoap.com. Why not put your money up the drain for a change? See them at 5starsoap.com or call 1-800-340-7091 for a catalog. Cal Ben Soap Company can save you thousands of dollars and give you good old-fashioned real soaps that are triple concentrated. Soaps made from vegetable and coconut oils. See their full selection of soaps at 5starsoap.com. That's F-I-V-E starsoap.com. Or call 1-800-340-7091 for a catalog. Want to know more about Wall Street Raw and the Leibovitz VR newsletters? Go to WallStreetRawRadio.com. Welcome back to Wall Street Raw on this uh, Saturday, January 6th, uh, first broadcast of uh, 2018. And as you know, we try to keep an exciting lineup for you of interesting and informative guests. And I want to thank again uh, Don Violo and Henry Weingarten for joining us on the show this morning. And we have our good friend uh, Harry Boxer in the wings out in um, La Quinta, California. And Harry, as you probably know, is the founder of the TechTrader.com which is a live trading room featuring his trade alerts and technical market analysis. He's a 50-year veteran of technical market analysis and a stock picker, and he authored the great book Profitable Day in Swing Trading, which was named by Stock Traders Almanac as the 2015 Best Investment Book of the Year. Harry, thank you for joining us, and Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to you. Always a pleasure to be here. We had an exciting week, and there's so much to talk about. Let's uh, start off with one of my favorite subjects. We had a uh, nice sell-off and a bit of a recovery in the uh, cannabis stocks, and partially related to the Jeff Sessions comment on uh, Friday. Let's talk about yeah. that. How do you, what's going on there, technically? Well, I mean, I just think they were overdone and looking for an excuse to come down anywhere. I, mean, I, I recommended ACBFS at five and a half, and it went over uh, in almost twelve, and the TWNJF from fourteen to. Almost 29. I mean, when you get those kind of run-ups in a couple of weeks, you're going to get some pullbacks.
back in that. That was just the just either. But, boy, they sure snapped snap back, didn't they? We'll see if there's a recovery back over the highs. I think you may have a problem with that. Although the pattern I'm looking at intraday on some of these look, look pretty positive. Right, and, and um, well, we can get into all the, um, the fundamental stories, but the names that you just mentioned, you know, are Canadian names, and they probably would not be impacted as much from at all, maybe perhaps from the Jeff Sessions uh, comments. So the, Canada seems to be, be the place to be anyway. That is true. But uh, they also did react to it. It's funny because the whole group reacted. It. I guess some people sold it just because they didn't realize they were Canadian or whatever. But for example, TWMJF got smashed this morning down a Point to 92 and then ripped to over 28. Currently 27.49 up uh, about a dollar 60 on a day. That net after even after that big drop. So I mean that's pretty it's pretty outstanding. But you look at the chart. It, I mean this literally the long term channel top that I have a projection on this one is in the mid 30s. Kid you not. So uh, if they survive this selling bout and, and do not get below 22 on this one and then take out 29, we just be 35 uh, on the ACBFF. Uh, same kind of thing. If it survives any pullback and does not get down below nine, and then takes out the recent spike high, uh, high 1183, I could see it 1617. So there's a lot of um, look. They have momentum. They have strong momentum. But if when they break, it's not going to be pretty. It may very well happen that they go into a sideways consolidation for the next three to four weeks. It needs to do that, like much like it did in late November or mid-December. Uh, so if we get that kind of consolidation, it may be a setup for another leg up, which could, you know, which could take them to an ultimate, um, more important peak. We'll see. I, re- I rarely ask you to pull, pull up a stock, but uh, let's do it. Uh, you know, Constellation Brands took a uh, 10% position in TWMJF, and the stock was down about eight, nine points today on a little bit of a disappointing earnings report. But if you pull it up, you could say this has been a huge bull stock, and if anything, in particularly with their relationship with Canopy Growth, it still should be a buy here. What do you think? What's the symbol? STZ, STZ, Constellation. Yeah, it's two hundred dollars stock. It uh, broke a little bit today on an earnings story, and uh, looks like it might maybe starting a correction or uh, what? I think so because if you look at the exact channel, it's now one year with unbroken pattern, and today that not only broke the trend line but it broke the fifty. Now it did bounce back above the fifty, so today's close is going to be important. And, uh, in other words, um, there's a gap now at around two twenty five, two twenty twenty five zone. And if it doesn't fill that and continue and resurrect the trend, so to speak, uh, what I would do is put a stop on the today's low on the 216 because underneath that level, it can really start to drop into the you know, 205 or even 195 area or worse. Yeah, folks, I bring this up again because Constellation Brands was a big U.S. company that uh, this, you know stood up and took a position in the uh, marijuana business. For the longest time, I thought it would be Philip Morris and names like that. And out of the blue, this is probably one of the leading uh, liquor companies in the United States, uh, Corona Beer being one of their products, and they decided to buy a... Um, I think believe believe it was a 10% position in Canopy Growth, which is the big blue chip in Canada. So they're they're going to be in the marijuana business, and this is something to watch. And uh, it's, it's an interesting play. But Harry's saying here that it might have broken that up channel. So let's take a, let's keep an eye on it because a big big picture is probably still good. Well, it has gone from 143 up to 230. So uh, in a year. So any break is going to invite some selling from institutional clients as well as people who have big built-in profits. And plus, the volume on the downside today is huge uh, for this stock. It's through the five and a half million shares. I haven't seen that on a down day in a year. It is low, so uh, it may be significant. And I mean, again, I always say that one day doesn't a trend make. So we'll see if there's any downside follow through. I'm going to the um, Consumer Electronics Show next week, Harry. I don't know if you can make it. I'm going to be there for a day or two. But one of your favorite stocks, Copen, K-O-P-N, seems to be on the move here. And no question. As a matter of fact, um, I told all my people above 333 to go aggressive law. Today it's 363. And, and look, it looks to me like it's headed towards four and a half and then five and a quarter near term. They have some big announcements apparently to be made this coming week at CES, which could be game-changing for the uh, uh, virtual reality, augmented reality type uh, group in terms of new headsets and, and glasses. And um, I just think they're on the cutting edge of, uh, of that technology. And with so many companies involved, I think this is eventually a takeover. And, and if it isn't, they're going to get so much business and ramp up that I think the stock is a double or triple, maybe more than that in the next you know, six months. 
Okay. Um, we only have a couple minutes. What else is on your radar? Well, you know, I got, today we were just day trading that some of these Chinese plays are ridiculous. As far as I'm concerned, first it was a Bitcoin, then it was marijuana, now it's Chinese stocks. But these kind of rank, low price stock speculation up 100, 200, 500 percent in a day are what we see at the tail end of every major bull market we've ever seen. That's a warning sign for everybody. I would tell you at this point, I'm worried about the market. I told all my people I expected if we do get a spillover early in the year, the first week, Watch January 8th to 12th, and that's usually if it is going to be a reversal, that will be the time I think we may get a pullback. Now, I don't know how long it takes, maybe two or three weeks and maybe two or three days, and then up and go again. But, I mean, there's, at some point we're going to get a dramatic turn down, and I'm not sure what's going to trigger it. Maybe Rocket Man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rocket Man, you're right. Well, it tends to be some type of pullback in January and sometimes into early February historically, but we're breaking so many rules here. We have about uh, 20, 20 seconds, Harry. What about gold? Well, as you know, I was I told you I was very high on this little stock called USA Gold, similar to USA U. Uh, it just broke its major downtrend and it's starting to fly. It literally gone from a buck and a quarter to about 210 in the last three or four days. I'm and it looks to me like it's a complete turnaround. You may want to check that little chart. I think gold in general is going to have a good year. I just don't know what the timing looks like. I think uh, there are certain stocks I like in that group, um, but I, I follow the ETFs like JNUG and GBX and stuff like GBXJ. Um, I, I would, at this point, uh, participate in the ETFs for that when and if the market turns around because I feel like individual stocks are always tough to quit. My favorite gold out of all of them? Kirkland Gold, KL. Harry, we just ran out of time. Kirkland Gold. Harry Boxer from the TechTrader.com. Talk to you next week. Have a great weekend, Harry. Thank you for joining us. Take care. You are listening to Wall Street Raw with Mark Leibovich. Go to WallStreetRawRadio.com for information on Mark's newsletters and products. Stay tuned. Mark will be right back. High-performance investors and traders use superior financial tools to achieve superior returns. You have that tool with Mark Leibovit, nationally renowned top market timer, legendary television Wall Street Week elf, and nightly business report market monitor, who shares with you his unique market tools and commentary at WallStreetRaw.com. At WallStreetRaw.com, Mark provides you with his latest ideas on how to help build and protect your wealth and help you avoid the next big market crash. Mark has a special free gift for listeners of his Wall Street Raw radio show. Go to WallStreetRaw.com and sign up for his free monthly Cannabis Vice News Raw Report. While there, go ahead and sign up for his free monthly Gold News Raw Report. Both are totally free. No credit card information is required. Sign up today for your free Cannabis Vice News Raw and Gold News Raw Reports at WallStreetRaw.com. That's WallStreetRaw.com. Every industry faces distinguishing challenges and circumstances that shape the business and financial landscape. Camuso CPA LLC delivers unrivaled depth of knowledge and an engaging experience relevant to each client's industry-specific needs. Camuso offers preemptive guidance and knowledge required to achieve your greatest business and personal financial potential. Our approach is based on forging long-term business relationships accompanied by trust and value, creating an ever-important partnership. Build your dedicated financial team with us today. Visit CamusoCPA.com. That's CamusoCPA.com. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. 
It's a no-brainer. A Big Berkey water filter is the one you need, period. You need a water filter that removes chlorine, fluoride, pharmaceuticals, BPA, and other endocrine disruptors, pesticides, bacteria, viruses, and much more, right? And does it all at only two cents per gallon. Get the original and most trusted name in gravity water filtration, Big Berkey. And now GCN listeners receive 5% off ceramic filter systems using code GCN. Call or click 1-877-99-BERKEY or BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. That's 1-877-99-BERKEY. People search the Internet for everything, including you. With a few clicks, information from your past can be quickly discovered, from business deals gone wrong to misleading reviews, negative articles, and unflattering images. Studies show 78% of people search for someone online before doing business with them. Will they find the real you? With ReputationDefender.com, you can establish a positive Internet presence. ReputationDefender.com pioneered the field with over a decade of experience, serving thousands of successful individuals and businesses. We use patented, award-winning systems to boost positive content and suppress negative material. Don't let the Internet define you. Take control of your reputation today with ReputationDefender.com. For your quick, free reputation analysis, call 800-831-0771. That's 800-831-0771, 800-831-0771, or visit reputationdefender.com. The answer to being in control of your own health care is freedom from insurance. Become part of a group of self-pay patients that come together to share in each other's medical expenses. Individual share amounts begin at $107 a month and $347 for families. Choose from three health sharing programs. Holistic treatments may be eligible for sharing. See guidelines. Discount programs available for dental, vision, and pharmacy. Go to libertyoncall.org. That's libertyoncall.org. Responsibility begins and ends with our partners and our shareholders, and that's it. There is no freedom without the law. Get it? Got it? Good. Welcome back to Wall Street Law and the final segment with Mark Leibovic. Now, here's the elf himself. Welcome back to Wall Street Raw on this uh, great Saturday, January 6th, uh, first broadcast of 2018. Always happy and pleased that you are time to tune in and listen to our broadcast. And um, we very much enjoy bringing on a whole host of very interesting guests for you each and every week. One of our regular guests and good friends, Sinclair Noe, is on the line. Sinclair Noe is the author of the great incomparable blog, eatthebankers.com, and also financial commentator for many, many years at KFN 1510 Radio in Phoenix. Good morning, Sinclair. Thank you for joining us. It's always my pleasure, Mark. You know, I'm I'm on the edge of my seat this morning. Tell me why. Waiting for the annual forecast model. (laughs) Okay. This is going to be a, a really unique one, I believe, because when was the last time you saw the markets start the new year with record after record after record? Not too often. Usually the first few days are down. Typically. So I'm wondering what this all means for the annual forecast model. Well, you know, my good friend Yale Hirsch, who you probably know has been a big inspiration in my life, uh, his stock trader's almanac has the first five days warning indicator, which uh, tells you the first five days could possibly lead the whole year. And then, of course, he's got the whole month in which you compare January to the close in December, and that becomes your January barometer if it's net up or down for the year. So um, it's kicking off pretty positive. That's the best reaction I could give you. Yeah. 1964 was the year for the S&P 500 to start out with three record highs. And what happened in 64? It was a good year. Okay. I, mean, I don't have I don't have data back to 64, Sinclair, but thanks I, I don't either, but I, as I, I believe it was a good year. Okay. I, I'm, I'm trying to think. In, in 64, I was, I was in high school, I think, or junior high school. <laughs> I don't think I was ch- charting the market back then. The that I don't think so, no. <laughs> I hadn't figured out what I wanted to do in life at that point. Meanwhile, let's talk a little bit about what happened this past uh, week or so. Um, the uh, Fed Minutes uh, came out, and there was a little... Uh, I don't want to say controversy, but a little differing opinion among the various uh, the Fed um, 
managers in terms of where they thought interest rates should go and how many hikes we should have? Well, we're seeing a dovish camp and a hawkish camp, and we don't know the exact numbers in each camp. But we do know that uh, some of the Fed policymakers are looking at slowing down the number or pace of rate hikes. Others, uh, and seeing if we can let this expansion continue a bit longer. Uh, others are, are looking at it and saying, no, we need to keep up with the rate hikes pretty much the way they are. Um, I think both camps are a little bit uncomfortable with the inflation forecast, uh, which, you know, the Fed has targeted 2% inflation rate. We're not there yet, but we're looking at a few things happening that might affect inflation moving forward. And, of course, the Fed, think of it as a big uh, a, a, a big freight ship out on the ocean. This thing doesn't just turn the economy on a dime. So they have to look ahead, and they're looking at uh, fiscal stimulus coming in in the form of the uh, Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. And they're also looking at the labor market right now at 4.1% unemployment, which we got the jobs report on Friday. A little bit disappointing, but nothing to really worry about. 148,000 new jobs in December, the unemployment rate holding at uh, 4.1%. It seems as if we have more job openings than hiring taking place. That means that uh, employers are finding it difficult to get the right person to fill the job opening. They're going to have to start paying a little bit more. We should start seeing some wage push inflation. Um, And the Federal Reserve is looking at this and saying they want to keep the employment going. They want to keep the hiring going. They don't want to do anything that's going to end that. Um, And at the same time, they want to avoid inflation. Where do they come down on this? At this point, we just don't know. I think we're probably still looking at this point at three interest rate increases for 2018, with the first coming at the March Fed meeting. Um, It's not going to come at the February meeting. That will be the first one for Jerome Powell, and I think that will just be a a get-acquainted kind of meeting. So I'm looking for March, probably September, and then December. They'll, They'll continue. More than likely, unless something changes, they'll continue with that projection. Sinclair, you know, there could be some headwinds here. Bank of America, Merrill Lynch strategist, wrote in a research report that this tax plan could be a headwind to growth ahead in 2019, not 2018. You think the Fed's looking at that? Well, I think that the Bank of America analysts are looking at the Fed. I think they're looking at the Fed and saying, um, the Fed could raise interest rates more aggressively in response to faster growth. That's the headwind is the Federal Reserve. And come on, Mark, you and I both know that over the past, uh, what is it, almost uh, nine years now at this point, the stock market has responded to the Federal Reserve, the zero interest rate policy, the uh, accommodation, the QE you look at the Fed's balance sheet, and that pretty much matches the S&P's charts. Um, as the Fed starts quantitative tightening and starts raising, we're, we're about to go to the, we're about to go to the point where Fed policy is no longer accommodative but restrictive. As interest rates move above the inflation rate, that's when we see a restrictive policy from the Federal Reserve. And don't forget, they're slowly but surely selling off, selling off, selling off their balance sheet. Now, there's a there's a balance there, which is that the federal government's going to take on more debt as we move through this tax plan. Um, that is that is not a uh, that is not a deficit neutral tax plan. So there will still be plenty of debt out in the marketplace, but. Uh, Still, I, I think the biggest headwind that Bank of America and many others are looking at is that the Fed could tighten. Okay, okay. Well, you know, the, mar- the market uh, will tell us, too. And uh, 
Yeah, obviously, uh, next few weeks are critical in terms of, you know, the, the January barometer and, you know, what we see. But we only have a, a minute or two here, Sinclair. One of the big stories that hit yesterday, and as you know, I'm a big follower of the cannabis group, was Attorney General Jeff Sessions' comments regarding um, advising various attorney generals that the call memorandum does not apply anymore. Any gut feeling about that? Yeah, I think it's the stupidest thing that he's done in a long time, and he's known for stupid things. Okay. <laughs> You're not opinionated. <laughs> okay. Well, well, look, yeah, I'm only kidding. You know, th- this whole thing of uh, uh, legalizing marijuana, I, I'm not saying go out and start smoking pot. That's not what I'm saying at all. I, I don't think it's a good idea to go out and smoke pot. However, I don't think it's a good idea to throw people in jail for it. It makes absolutely no sense in my mind. And why in the world does the federal government need to be involved in this kind of stuff? They don't, as far as I can tell. Um, If you were to develop a list of all the things that are more important for federal prosecutors and federal law enforcement to do, then rather than pursuing marijuana and and picking somebody up and throwing them in jail for a joint, that list would be one, basically Mm -hmm. everything. There's so much more important. This is to, why why mess with it? And, and and it's also a state's issue. States voted for it. Voters voted for it. Um, and, and that's what they want. You want the federal federal government coming in and and, and overturning the votes of, of 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 states? I don't think so. Yeah, no, I don't like anything about this, from Jeff Sessions. Sinclair Nell, thank you for joining us. Sinclair Nell from KFN 1510 Phoenix, and also the great blog, eatthebankers.com. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. And, and as we do, we close our show each week with a phrase from Ed Hart, we will know in the fullness of time. Thank you for listening to Wall Street Raw with nationally recognized market timer and previous Wall Street Week out, Mark Leibovitz. If you missed any of today's show or to get in touch with Mark, please go to wallstreetrawradio.com. Any stocks or investment discussion Discussed on Wall Street Raw are not in any way a recommendation or solicitation to buy, sell, or hold. We first recommend you seek out a licensed financial professional for advice. Go to WallStreetRawRadio.com for more information on Mark's newsletters and products. High-performance investors and traders use superior financial tools to achieve superior returns. You have that tool with Mark Leibovitz, nationally renowned top market timer, legendary television Wall Street Week elf, and nightly business report market monitor who shares with you his unique market tools and commentary at WallStreetRaw.com. Here, Mark provides you with his latest ideas on how to help build and protect your wealth and help you avoid the next big market tsunami. Mark has a special free gift for listeners of his Wall Street Raw radio show. Go to WallStreetRaw.com and sign up for his free monthly Cannabis Vice News Raw report. While there, go ahead and sign up for his free monthly Gold News Raw report. Both are totally free. No credit card information is required, and no one will call. Sign up today for your free Cannabis Vice News Raw report and Gold News Raw report at WallStreetRaw.com. Hunters, anglers, campers, and survivalists. Get back to nature. Expand your horizons with the highest quality, most versatile, unique slingshots and sling bows on the market at slingbow.com. Slingbow products are compact and models start from just $17.98. They're perfect for your bug out bag or storing in your vehicle. Give yourself and your loved ones the excitement and tradition of slingbow. A new frontier in archery and truly modern twist on this primitive survival tool. Feel the thrill only at slingbow.com. Most of us like to be out in the sun. That's why sunscreen and other safety measures are key to protecting your skin from aging and cancer. The FDA recommends using a sunscreen with an SPF of 15 or higher. Also, look for broad spectrum on the label. That means both harmful ultraviolet A and B rays are blocked. Remember, SPF plus broad spectrum equal healthy fun in the sun. Visit www.fda.gov sunscreen for more information. A message from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration.